we've talked about our horizontal or straight line solid. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about our diagonals. So you've got diagonal backs, and you've got diagonal forwards. So diagonal forwards are typically when you're dealing with like your more of your concave or your A-line shapes. And diagonal back will cover a lot more when we get into our face framing and shaping around the face. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you it just quickly here on a strip, just so you get an idea. And it's probably something nice to kind of get used to practicing it well, as well. So again, I've palmed my scissors, I've got it the fancy way, do whatever you feel comfortable with. Combing the hair, and now we're gonna section. So we're gonna section it on a diagonal. Can you see that I'm kind of creating that diagonal shape there? Sectioning her up and pinning her away. There's a random bit of hair. Where are you coming from? Let's hide you up there. Okay. So the only difference between this one and the solid is just the angle that your fingers are going to be on. You're not lifting your hand out or doing anything else. You're literally just going to come and comb it down. Okay. A little bit trickier. Okay. Cutting on a diagonal. I'm pretty much just getting used to this first and then I'll go back and make sure it's all perfect. So don't stress too much. Okay. So combing the first couple of sections and now I'm just gonna go over and clean my line. So I can flip my hand this way all this way okay so you want to get comfortable to all hand positions as well and you will as you move through your career as well it's not just one way of doing everything you'll find that there are so many different ways to do it it's not right or wrong either everybody loves to have an opinion i just pick the good bits from everybody and put them together and that'll be your style okay so i've created my little diagonal back shape cool See that? And then we're going to keep up. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take another section. Because this is a little bit more precise, take your sections just a little bit finer. That way you can see what you're doing easily. Okay. I'm going to wet her down. You can see it's starting to dry out a little bit. You want to make sure it's either working on really wet hair or really dry hair. You don't want to do either or. We teach you to start cutting on wet hair just so it's easier first. Um, you can, when you get down into your, you know, more levels into your hairdressing, you can start to work on dry hair. We just don't start that at the start because it can kind of move around and do crazy stuff. Okay, so can you see that the guide's there? Can you see that? So the guide's in there. So combing my fingers just above it and we're gonna cut straight on that line, okay? I guess the only tip I can tell you is don't cut into your guide. And if you can't see your guide, go back and section up again. And if you still can't see it, then grab help. Don't just cut. Okay. Okay. Now a little piece there, I'm going to cut off. And that's pretty much our diagonal. So you would just keep going through. Everything's just repeated. It's just the same process. It's just on a different line. Okay, same process. And we're going to keep cutting. A little tip I always do too is I never just cut hair and then let it be. I would cut this and I would blow dry it. So blow drying means getting my blow dryer and my brush and rounding it and having a look at it. I don't ever just blast dry and expect that to be perfect. Nothing worse than doing that. I kind of make, want to make sure that everything I do is the best of my ability. Let's have a look at what's going on with the rest. Cool, so you can see your guy clearly underneath there, hey? 
in your last section, so you really want to make sure you're combing it nice and properly. You can see I've probably moved to my more my finer part of my comb just because I want a little bit more tension because it's a little bit more tricky than just cutting it horizontally across. See so you guide there? I'm gonna cut straight on that. Okay, see the guide. I always find the first and the last section of where I really go over it and make sure it's perfect, okay? And look, this looks weird on a strip of hair and you'd never do this on a client. Oh, I don't think, maybe. But it's not something you're gonna commonly practice just like this. It'd be more in conjunction with like a total shape. And that's what we're teaching you through this cutting program. We're just breaking everything down so that you kind of know the ins and outs of cutting. And then we're gonna put it all together with total looks. Okay, you can see here, I've got maybe just a little smidge of hair, see him, we're gonna knock him off. Cool, and that's our diagonal, solid.